Trees are a very significant and integral part of our planetary ecosystem. Without trees performing their essential function through photosynthesis of turning carbon dioxide into oxygen, it's questionable how long human beings would be able to survive on Earth. Beautiful, majestic, and essential, most trees in the 21st century are well understood and well studied, and do not appear to hold any mysteries. However, occasionally, some trees defy rational knowledge or explanation. So here we look at five mysterious trees, one that still exists today, that are unique and still not completely understood. Now, before we get into this fascinating topic, we would like to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. If you're like us, then you know that nothing beats taking a break from hard work. So after this video, why not do as we do and try out the mobile game Raid Shadow Legends? As you can see, the 3D graphics and fight scenes are awesome. You won't find much better on a PC or console game. But that's not all. You can progress through a fully immersive storyline, battle to victory in PvP fights, or test your resolve against giant bosses. Along the way, you can collect characters to customize as you see fit. Don't forget to get your hands on the Ultimate Mobile RPG for free by clicking the links in the description. This game's getting some pretty good reviews. You'll even get 50,000 silver and a free Epic Champion as part of the new player program. Now, let's get into this video. As always, sit back and enjoy. Dragon Blood Trees of Socotra Island. The Dracaena cinnabari or Dragon Blood Tree is native to Socotra Island, an island off the coast of Yemen and Somalia. The Dragon Blood Tree acquired its mysterious name and reputation by its excretion of blood red sap when it's damaged. According to local legend, the first Dragon Blood Tree was created from the blood of a dragon after losing a battle with an elephant. The sap is believed to have magical and medicinal properties and is still used today for these purposes. The dragon's blood sap is said to protect and ward off negative energies and is sprinkled throughout homes, especially under rugs, on windowsills or in doorways. The sap is also known as a cure-all for illness and contain all matter of anticoagulant and antiviral properties. It's even specifically been used for lowering fever and curing diarrhea, ulcers, and eczema. The dragon blood tree is just one of many species who uniquely thrive on Socotra Island, an island that has been likened to an alien planet or lost world because of its unique natural wonders. It's estimated that about 37% of its plant species, 90% of its reptile species, and 95% of its land snail species living on this ancient island survive nowhere else on Earth. A Luminous Tree in the United States In 1885, the Theophysis Journal reported that near to some hot springs in Tuscarora, Nevada, an eerie, photophorescent tree had been discovered. A closer examination revealed that the tree was covered with a luminous, gummy substance that had an unpleasant odour. The mysterious tree emitted enough light to be seen from up to a mile away at night, and up close was bright enough to read with. Local Native Americans were very wary of the tree and would not go near it, even during the day, and referred to it as a witch tree. No one seems to know for sure how or why this tree became covered in this luminous substance although some believe it was the result of some sort of supernatural intervention. However, the more plausible explanation is it was linked to the nearby hot spring waters. Sadly, the tree no longer exists, and is believed to have died naturally, although the story has inspired a Dutch company called Alumen, whose vision it is to create glow-in-the-dark trees to replace traditional street lighting. They plan to achieve this by isolating genes that cause creatures to glow and genetically engineering them into trees so that they glow too. The Whistling Trees of Nubia The rustling of trees and creaking of branches is a familiar sound if you live near a forest. However, trees that whistle is a less common phenomenon. Unless you live along the Nile River in the country of Nubia, 100 years or so ago, where the African winds brought with them the mysterious music of whistling trees, Documented by various publications as early as 1889, 
and as recent as 1943. The most common explanation for these whistling trees was that insects had burrowed into the branches, making small holes that allowed the wind to pass through and produce these curious whistling sounds, much like a woodwind instrument. However, what is curious is that no other trees in this area, or any other area for that matter, have ever duplicated this whistling effect, even though insect infestations of trees is a fairly common occurrence. Posing the question, why just these trees at this time? Is it merely an example of another parasitic relationship in nature? Was it something that was blown out of proportion, or was there a supernatural force at work that orchestrated the mystical notes of these whistling trees? What do you think? The Snake Tree of Mexico In the March 30th, 1901 edition of the Musselbrook Chronicle, there was a report of a mysterious 20-foot-high tree that was as disturbing in its nature as it was astonishing. This unusual tree, near to the Sierra Madre Mountains in Mexico, was named the Snake Tree, not because of snakes being attracted to it or inhabiting it, but because of its grotesque, snake-like branches that twisted and contorted in a continuous motion. Horrifically, upon closer inspection, it was confirmed that this carnivorous tree was consuming birds or any creatures that had the misfortune of landing on it. The limbs of this predatory tree were described as being more like tentacles and were completely covered with tiny suckers that aided it with capturing and holding its prey long enough to suck it completely dry of blood. It's believed that the snake tree of Mexico no longer exists today and there have been no other known reports of a tree of this kind. The Electric Trees of New Guinea Lieutenant von Immergesendi may have experienced the shock of his life when he and other members of his German expedition discovered electric trees while exploring a remote area of New Guinea in 1885. According to von Immer's account, one of the other members of the expedition carelessly decided to chop at one of these mysterious trees with an axe and was sent backwards from a massive electric shock. Von Immer stated, every branch and every twig of the tree presented similar ridges and cores, with the addition of a thicker central one, and I quickly proved that the current circulated through the entire system. How it is kept up, no one at present can tell, but there it is. I am not able to say what the intensity or the quantity of the current might have been, but it was enough to knock you down in a very unpleasant way. The expedition was reported to have ended earlier than planned due to sickness of the members. However, on his return, von Immer claimed that he had samples of the tree's wood, core, and seeds. Although close to a century and a half after his return, no further documentation has been given of these electric trees, and they are now believed to have been lost in history. So that's five of some of the most mysterious trees documented throughout history. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's something a little different, so let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.